Troubleshooting my home sock lab. The Grafana mystery continues. This is Cyber Defend Lab, episode number five. Once again, my name is KD. Welcome back to Cyber Defend Lab. If you've been following along, you know that setting up a free tier home sock lab isn't just about installing tools. It's sometimes about troubleshooting, frustration, persistence, and eventually success. And today, in episode number five, I'm back with another challenge. Grafana is still not showing logs. Every time I think I've found the solution, another problem appears. But if life has taught me anything, it's this. I don't give up. Let's dive in. Where we left off in episode number four, FluentBit is installed and running. Our syslog is forwarding logs. Grafana is set up, but it's not showing any logs. It's still not showing any logs. And that last point, that's the problem. I've checked everything, or so I thought. FluentBit is running. Our syslog is forwarding logs. But when I go into Grafana, blank, nothing, zero logs. So in this episode, I go back to square one and troubleshoot from the ground up. Step one, is FluentBit actually running? First, I check again if FluentBit is even running. Here's the code I used. Good news, FluentBit is running. Next, I send a test log entry. Here's the code I used. Then, I check if FluentBit is processing logs. Here's the code I used. FluentBit is receiving logs. So, FluentBit is working. That means the issue isn't FluentBit itself. It's how FluentBit is forwarding logs to Grafana. Step number two is FluentBit forwarding logs to Grafana. I check my FluentBit output configuration file. Everything looks correct. But I decide to manually push a log entry into Grafana to confirm. Here's the code I used. Error, unauthorized, 401. Grafana is still rejecting the logs. I was expecting this and I wanted to reconfirm it was still an issue. Step number three, is Grafana blocking my logs? I run a health check on Grafana. Here's the code I use. Grafana is running. But when I check the configuration, here's the code I use. FluentBit isn't authorized to send logs. Aha, Grafana requires authentication for API requests. I now know why Grafana is rejecting logs, but I don't have a fix yet. Step number four, considering other options, but not implementing them yet. At this point, I start thinking about potential solutions. One idea, InfluxDB, that's Influx database. I look up how to install InfluxDB and set it up as an alternative backend for, for Grafana. Would it be easier than fixing FluentBit's authentic authentic authentication issue? Maybe, but I haven't installed it yet. Here's what I found as the steps. Here's the code I might use. And to create a database, a database for FluentBit logs, here's the code I might use. I haven't decided yet. At this point, I stop. Why? because I don't want to waste time setting up a new tool unless it's absolutely necessary. My first priority is fixing the current FluentBit Grafana issue. If I can get logs into Grafana without setting up InfluxDB, maybe that's the better approach. Final reality check, where we stand. At the, at the end of episode number five, here's where I'm at. FluentBit is receiving logs. FluentBit is running properly. FluentBit is not forwarding logs to Grafana. 401 unauthorized error. Grafana is rejecting logs due to authentication issues. Logs are still not visible in Grafana. I haven't installed InfluxDB. I haven't fixed Grafana authentication. And that's okay because this is what real world troubleshooting looks like. What's next? In episode number six, I will. I will fix the Grafana authentication issue. 
I will fix the, uh, the Grafana authentication issue. I will find out whether Fluentbit needs an API key or a different authentication, authentication method. And I will make a final decision. Do I fix the Fluentbit Grafana issue or switch to NfluxDB? We will get there together. If you've ever struggled with log forwarding, Fluentbit or Grafana, drop a comment below. I want to hear your experiences. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the breakthrough in episode number six, because we will figure this out one troubleshooting step at a time. Final thoughts. This journey is about learning cybersecurity hands on. It's not about quitting. It's about not quitting when things get tough. This is Cyber Defend Lab, where theory meets hands on cybersecurity. Once again, my name is KD. I'll see you in episode number six.